Thursday, we were leaving London and we were going to get back on the road after having done all of these industry things. So it was very refreshing to go back out together as a rock and roll band just to go play music for people in a live venue as well. Yeah, it's nice to get back out there. So I had four radio things during the day. I had to do uh, something at the football stadium in the morning and then I was doing um, Smooth Birmingham and then an ISDN to London and then I had uh, BBC Birmingham after that. And it was one of those things that had to run like clockwork and the guy stayed in the van while I did it. I jumped out, I did the show live and then I would come back and we'd get in the van and drive to the next station. It was full on. And then that night we had a show. So we played in the Jam House, which is Jules Holland's place. He has a couple of uh, places around the UK. It's one of his venues. It was a really nice venue. The sound system was incredible. And then all the people that sort of pooled in all of the audience were these really great kids that had just graduated that weekend, so they were up for a party, which was great. I mean, that's a fun crowd to play for. And we did, we just did like uh, covers of, of Johnny Cash and Elvis and whatever we could pull out that was just sort of fun and rock and roll and in the spirit of things. Then Friday we drove up to Manchester and I did uh, two more radio things during the day. And uh, it was funny, we stopped at Roadside and I did a little phoner into Leith outside of Edinburgh and I sent the guys into the Roadside and locked the van doors because I knew I was going to be live on the air on the phone. And I didn't want someone walking in being like, hey, where's my sweater? You know what I mean? <laughs> Which could have happened. Um, so then we went up to the Roadhouse in Manchester. We played this very, very grungy rock club. And it was, uh, you know, it was uh, uh, yet again another moment where Every single show is completely different, and every room you just have to play for it the way that uh, you know the room presents itself. So we played, you know, a fun show at the Roadhouse in Manchester, and the next day we drove all the way up to Edinburgh in Scotland again. And I was um, meeting with uh, my friends up there that run Acoustic Edinburgh, and I know them through uh, Katie Tunsil, and she knows them because they used to put on all these nights, and they still do of all the people that they. Uh, can, you know, rustle up that, that they'd want to see on a bill. So I always loved playing for them. And this time I brought my band back, so they were delighted to see it again. And uh, so we played that show. It was a great show. Really wonderful to have a set where we could stretch out a bit more on it, had some more time. And then we had to drive two hours down to Carlisle because we had to be back in Manchester the next morning. Drove all the way back, and then the next morning I was in Manchester doing a breakfast show at 12 in the afternoon, totally tired, and I was asked to comment on, you know, all of these various headlines in the papers. Uh, it was just hysterical. It was me, it was a politician, it was a comedian, and each of us were talking about, you know, all of these different current events, like what do you think of Obama visiting Gordon Brown? I, I don't know, I mean, you know, so I would give my opinion and then play a song. It's bizarre. We had the night off that night, we went out to Telford's Warehouse in Chester, and just let off some steam as a band. It was great. There was a little open mic going on there, lots of great food. We got some bottles of wine and just really cut loose because it had been a full-on tour until that point and uh, it was just nice to have the night off.